So I've been power leveling a lot of characters lately, trying to get them to like 170 ish, uh, just so I can do an honest class review or a class review that would include uh, the hyper skill, or usually the the more interesting hyper skill, which you get at 170. And having to do that um, means that I have to do a lot of RNJ PQ, or Romeo and Juliet PQ, and it is by no means a hard PQ. It is probably the easiest fucking party quest in the game. Well, it's the only one anyone does anymore, so... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really fucking easy. And yet, I keep running into a bunch of fucking retards. So, we're gonna go ahead and do a little tutorial here. So, the first stage of RNG PQ is really easy, but it's also really easy to fuck up. You're basically just looking for a switch found in one of these sparkly clusters. I don't know what the fuck they're called. Ideally, you want two people on each side of the map because you can only have four people in RNJ so you want half the party looking on one side and half the party looking on the other side doesn't happen in this party um, but ideally that's what you want for like the fastest possible chance of finding the portal um, or the, it's the most efficient way next you need to actually click on the portal things the sparkling things you can't press up up does absolutely nothing and that's why people, that and another reason is why people end up doing absolutely nothing on the stage when they think they're doing something. So, uh, you can't press up, you have to click. When clicking, you have to read the first two words. If the, fir if the first two words read, th it's unable or something unable, that means you've checked, the, you've checked that portal. If it says this place has already been, this place, or this place has already been checked, that means obviously that the place has already been checked. If it says it's located, that means you did not check the portal. That means you were too far away from it to check it. And you need to click it again or get closer to it. And it's hard to judge if you're too far away from the portal because Nexon's code shit. So sometimes you can be standing right on top of it and they'll say you're too far away. But uh, just click until you see this place has already been checked or it's uh, or unable to find anything. So this is a really simple stage too. All you do is kill these, I don't know what the, f like floating pillow, monsters with the beaker hanging what the fuck next on stop doing acid um but yeah you basically just kill them you pick up the little jugs they they drop and you click on the beakers on located on the top of these little chalkboard things um and you just fill them up uh if you look at the beakers while you're filling them you would notice that they're leaking um and that is indicate that is an indication of you need to fill them up fast and once they get filled it they stop leaking there's three beakers obviously and you need to fill them I ideally you want to fill one up at a time starting from the left to the right although it doesn't really matter unless you're the only one filling them up then just fill from the left to the right um, but it works best when everyone is filling them up so if you're on the left side of the map fill up your beaker if you're in the middle of the map fill up your beaker and if you're on the right side of the map fill up your beaker it will move the fastest you don't want to spend a lot of time on this stage because it's not as good uh, the the experience and the spawn isn't as good as uh, the next map, which is fucking awesome. Um, which is the reason why you do this PQ. Uh, so you don't want to end up here. Um, people end up doing nothing on this stage. I feel like a lot of people genuinely don't know what to do on this stage. Like, I feel like they've always been carried through the stage. Uh, and they just never learned uh, what was actually being done. Uh, so, but yeah, like, you, you need to click on the beakers to fill it up. I've been in a party where I've been in this map at the 10 minute mark because I was having terrible click lag and I couldn't fill the beakers fast enough. Like, they keep emptying before I could fill it because I was using my stupid laptop and the trackpad is crap. And I was trying to explain to other people how to do it and they're just like, that's not what you have to do to beat this stage. You just wait. And I'm like, are you retarded <laughs> we've been here for 10 minutes and uh i just left and uh, yeah so i feel like a lot of some people genuinely don't know how to do this stage now you do uh so you can go on to the next and final stage i mean there are technically three more stages but we don't count them because nobody does them <laughs> because there's no point in doing them unless you really just want the party experience in which case i'm not doing a tutorial on that sorry because I, I genuinely just don't care so this is the stage. This is what everyone does this PQ for. It's this map because it has crazy experience. It has a really good spawn and it's great training from level 70 to like maybe 140, but that's kind of pushing it. Maybe like 120 or 130-ish. I kind of, I get bored at 120-ish uh, and tend to leave, but you can stay here if it's like 2x or like 16x or whatever the fuck you're running. Uh, for like 140, maybe even 150 if you're really fucking determined or if you're a really fast training class like a Luminous or something. 
Um, but when it comes to this map, um, you don't want to complete this. You don't want to complete this. How you complete it though is you basically go into the left side of the map and the right side of the map. There's two doors. You do a simple jump quest and you look for uh, these two keys. And once you have the key from the left side and you have the key from the right side, you talk to whoever's in the middle of the map. Uh, that NPC and they will bring you onto the next stage. But you're not gonna do that. I don't. I don't want to ever fucking see you hand in those goddamn things. Okay? Don't hand them in. Don't be that guy. Uh, you don't want to hand this in because again, this map is just such good experience. Um, but when it comes to this map, the most efficient way to train if if you have a if you're on a character that can attack the top platform and the bottom platform, you want to take a side of the map. You want to hog that side of the map for yourself. And if you can kill things really fast, you definitely want to hog a side for yourself. Uh, even if even if you're a member of the party who can't do that, like this bishop is in this video, uh, you want to stay in the middle of the map and not get greedy and try to attack other people's spawns. Not because it's KSing or anything like that, but because it's inefficient to attack the same monsters that are going to die. It's more efficient when training to kill every spawn as a party I uh, kill everything that spawns so that every spawn will respawn the next uh, the next spawn timer which is like I don't know it's like like a second or something every second they spawn so you want to make sure you, everything's dead on the map for that second and then everything has a chance to refresh you want to you want to basically make sure that everything dies every spawn and mo how you do that is you spread out and you try to attack a different spot of the map all the time and to overlap is just inefficient if your party is either really shit at mobbing or is weak, like, or if someone in your party is like really below the rest of your party, like I was in this party, uh, you might need to ask for some help and get another person on the side, even if you can hit two things, just because you're not going to kill things fast enough. That being said, if your entire party is like really shit at mobbing, you guys might do the one at the top platform, one at the bottom, and then one at the top and one at the bottom on, on the other side of the map. Um, and leave the middle as kind of like for the two platforms to or the two people on the bottom to kind of share that um, and ideally you don't or I mean you don't really want to fucking do that you kind of want to make sure you have a good mobber uh, in your party before you go in like we had a luminous in this party and me which is uh, I was a shade so I could use my fucking tornado skill and attack the top one which is not the most efficient training but i c i felt like it was it was fast enough like the the um the spawn or the uh, the cooldown on that tornado was was about like six seconds or something or no not even it's actually pretty high but uh it didn't delay the spawn enough to the point where i felt like it was contributing to enough exp loss to make a difference so i was like you know fuck it man i'm taking this set but yeah, that's basically it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm actually doing a shit ton of power leveling right now. So if anyone wants to train with me, if anyone's a bishop or phantom, even if they're not, honestly, I'm just fucking bored of training with randos. Uh, but yeah, if anyone wants to train with me uh, on Barra, by all means, add one of my characters. And I'm pretty sure that's how you become like account buddies or something. So just add me and I'll uh, we'll play. We'll fucking we'll grind it all the way to 170 because that's pretty much my goal on a bunch of characters, anyways. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Uh, and that's it. Anyways, peace.